People in this society will constantly try to get you to speak about your issues. But this is a trap. It's like bleeding in front of a shark. The more you show how injured you are, the more others want to harm you. And although this isn't always the case, it often occurs for someone to find joy in seeing you suffer. Some people are just skilled at disguising their happiness as false empathy. Consider this. If you fail in business and express your complete devastation over it, people will approach you and give you a pat on the back while expressing their sympathy. However, they will also want to know every detail in order to make fun of you and make others aware of how foolish and inept you were, all without you realizing it. In the event that your girlfriend betrays you, you will hear from others that what she did was terrible and that you would be better off without her. However, behind your back, they will make fun of you and your relationship as a whole. You may be wondering why somebody would be so nasty, and the simple explanation is that their motivation is to feel better than you. They thus see it as a delight and eagerly await the opportunity to feast on your unhappiness any time they witness you being troubled by anything. However, you entirely deprive them of the sense of superiority when you behave as if nothing is bothering you. Yes, it's true that learning to hide your weaknesses might ultimately make them stronger. I'll teach you how to become an unbothered guy in this video. First thing first, learn to control your tongue. Men tend to speak more than women these days and overcompensation. The need to hide flaws is a major cause of this. So they continue to chat, thinking that no one would notice their shortcomings. A guy who speaks a lot can be read by everybody, while a man who stays silent is difficult to read. A guy who doesn't say anything seems unconcerned and trustworthy, and people pay attention when he speaks. These people are not common. 99% of individuals like being listened to, feel important, and seek attention. Because of this, there are those males who just talk without thinking at all. It's as if they speak automatically. The world is at your feet if you contain the tongue, which is a wild beast that few people can manage. It's really extremely easy to control. All you have to do is learn to live in quiet. Let there be quiet, whether it's because you need time to reflect or because you're at a loss for words. Remember to pause, consider your words carefully, and speak only when you believe your silence will have more impact than someone else's, regardless of how confident the other person may seem. The second tip is to hang out with genuine individuals. Being among supportive people makes it simpler to deal with whatever issues you may be having. There need not be a large number of people, one or two will suffice. But you can conquer the world when you have this close-knit inner group. I mean these are the individuals you can weep with and share your deepest struggles with. The outer world may not be able to see that you manage all of your problems with people you can trust, so you may seem carefree and in complete control. Third point, inner satisfaction is the ultimate kind of prosperity. Nowadays, there is nothing wrong with someone wanting to become wealthy. Everyone wants to be wealthy. However, genuine riches is found in soul satisfaction, and soul contentment may be attained in a few different ways. Gratitude on a daily basis comes first. Only when we start to value life's little pleasures can we start to feel satisfied. We take so much for granted in our quest for more. But if we pause to give thanks to God for all of his favors, we would draw more blessings and inner serenity into our lives. Assimilation into a group is another path to inner fulfillment. Our souls are social beings by nature, you know, and we need community. It's a sense of not just fitting in, but also being of service. Numerous types of sadness and loneliness may be cured by community service, according to recent research. This occurs as a result of our soul's urge to serve being tapped into. It may be time to change one's perspective from one of consumption to service if the pursuit of this world has left you feeling chilly and alone. Giving back to the community draws good things and inner serenity into our existence. Fourthly, have faith in God's purpose. The last step is to just have faith in the Creator and His purpose for your life. It's simple to be sucked into the social media world and lose track of other people. Everyone constantly appears to be better than you, which may cause you to lose sight of your blessings or even sink into depression. Don't allow the phony nature of social media cause you to lose perspective. The Creator of everything is real and he has a purpose for you. You have to have faith in that plan, even if it's beyond your vision or comprehension. Some may claim that God doesn't exist or get upset with me if I give the Creator credit. It is my responsibility to help you strengthen your connection with the Creator. You will experience what it's like to have actual power on your side at that point. 
The topic of this video is how to be unbothered. But when you place your trust in something so almighty and powerful, you stop being unbothered altogether, since everything in this world is insignificant in the eyes of God. By the way, remember to show some love by clicking the like and subscribe buttons if you want to advance in life.